Calm down, honey. We're gonna talk about the livestock shelters that we sell here at Go Bob. These are portable in that they can be slid around, but they're very well built. They're extremely well built. But we start with a 12 by 12, and we go all the way up to uh, a 12 by 40. There's a lot of different ways you can rig them out. You know, you can put uh, tack rooms in them, you can put a series of gates, divide them up into sections, that sort of thing. <clears throat> and what we're gonna talk about here in a second is this new calving shed that we've got. And we've tried to, we've tried to arrange it where one man can do it. <clears throat> now we've got kind of a little lively cow here this morning and so I don't know how well she's going to work but here in a few minutes we'll we'll see if we can get her in here and and get her in the head gate. But before I do that let me tell you a, bit, a little bit about how these things are built. First of all it sits on two skids. They're four by four square tubing and they're a quarter inch thick and all the uprights you see in the corners are a quarter inch and then everything else all the other uprights in the in the main framing is uh is a 3 16 thick uh, we use a two by three and a two by four and then for the roof trusses um, we've got a two by two square 11 gauge there's no purlins in this because we don't think purlins are stout enough as a matter of fact you know you're supposed to use mobile home tie downs you need one on each not in each corner but one on each front corner to sufficiently tie it down but you know, sometimes people buy a shelter and they don't get around to it. Big wind comes up and we've had a, two or three of them roll. One of them happened to sit in our yard. But in every case, the frame has not been tweaked. Hasn't been damaged at all. Some of the tin gets built, bent up a little bit, but uh, people over just ride it and start using it. If they want to replace the pin, uh, tin where it was bent for cosmetic reasons, they could. And I'm sure we got a picture that we'll, we'll put in this that uh, so you can see what that looks like. All our gates, this is the same gates as, as we sell for our crowd gates. On this particular model right here, we have seven bar. Now the, the standard is six bar. This is all inch and five eighths, 14 gauge material. And then you've got uh, 11 gauge material on both gate legs. Anything that's horizontal is 14 gauge. Anything that's vertical is 11 gauge. And a gate this size right here, this would be a, about a 12 foot gate. You know, it's well over 100 pounds. An option that you can put in the shed is what we call 10 guard. Uh, these are uh, uh, one by two strips of rectangular tubing. We put four of them around the perimeter on the inside. And we usually do that in the loafing sheds for cattle and it's to keep them from kicking the tin out of the walls. Now the reason it's an option is because some people buy these shelters for horses and they like to have plywood in them. So you have a choice, whether plywood or, or the tin guard. You can also get your gates. These are standard gates. These have the chain tabs, um, but I've got one right here that's got a, a slam latch in it. <clears throat> that makes it real easy to open and shut the gate, that's optional. Basically, we can customize this thing any way that you want it. All you gotta do is, is give one of our reps a call. There's some basic designs on the website, but call them up and say what you'd like to have in it. We'll do a drawing of it, send it to you. As, yeah, you like it, we'll send you a price uh, delivered. Uh, delivered and, and all you gotta do is help us pull it off the truck, it slides right off. If you're ready to go, we will see if we can get this uh, lively little cow in here and see how it works for us. All right, now I'm gonna try to, to use some of the techniques that I've used, that I've learned from Kurt Pate, actually watching him. I've, I've uh, listened a lot to Tom Knopfsinger and Temple Grandin, but basically what I'm gonna do is <clears throat> When that cow does what I want her to do, I'm gonna back the pressure off. I'm gonna put a little pressure on her, make her understand what I want her to do. When she starts doing it, I'm gonna back away from it. So we'll see how that works. <clears throat> so I'm gonna give her a little pressure right now. That's what I wanted you to do. <clears throat> 
Now I'll try and get this gate shut before she kind of decides to come back out. We're in good shape. Now I'm gonna go up here and uh, I'm gonna get this self catching head gate set to receiver. Now she gets kind of kind of squirrely on me right here. If she does, I'm just gonna take my time. Well, there you go. Go ahead, hon. Go ahead. There you go. There you go. All right, we put a, this is just a nice little uh, self-catching head gate. Um, like I said, I'm not real fond of self-catchers, but um, if you want to design this where you can do everything by yourself and you got a cow as lively as that one there, uh, you probably need it. If you have your own head gate, want to get your own, or uh, uh, we'll, you know, we'll take the cost of it off the cost of the shed, or we'll install the one that you want, uh, just however you want to do it. But this is, this is the standard one that it comes with. What we, I like about this shelter, this is a 36 footer, which means we have three 12 foot by 12 foot separate pins. And you can use them for whatever you want to use them for. I mean, you can keep the baby, baby calves in this first one or the second one, or I'd probably save the, the last one down there for bringing the cows in that you're gonna help pull a calf on. All of them are built with the same heavy duty gates that we sell for corral gates. And you'll notice all the gates will fold back up against the wall so they're out of the way. And if you want to wrap a chain around this uh, uh, 10 guard, what we call it, I talked about it a little bit earlier, you can hold them secure there. So if you got, got one like her that's running around, she doesn't catch a hip on it and pull it halfway open. Same thing goes on this gate here. And I kind of use this gate to help me crowd her into my alley. It's not a lot, but it's not designed to be. It's, it's designed to be strong and functional and uh, inexpensive. Uh, but I use it to kind of guide her into my little alley. <clears throat> and then once we get in here, we got some pretty cool features. One of them is on this, this back gate, I do have a slam latch on it. So let's say I get her here and I get her in the alley, I can just reach over here slam that shut. I don't have to fool with the chain. This gate here is designed, it's actually a double gate. It also has the slam latch, but it's got chain latches on it as well. And if you get one in here that's a little bit wild, I would put them both on it. Because if she bows it enough in the middle, it might flex out enough that this sliding bolt latch would come out of its socket. But if you have the chain on there until you get her calmed down, if you have the chain on there, it's not going to come off. But, but check this out. <coughs> I'll move this over so the camera can see it a little better. But what this is, is actually a double gate. I pull this up and I can swing that out of my way and I still have the main gate in place. But if I need to get underneath her or behind her to, to pull the calf or, or whatever, I'm able to do it. And the nice thing about it is, we're here, and it's dry, we're out of the wind. Uh, they don't always pick the best time of year to have their calves. And so this makes it a lot more comfortable. <clears throat> and with, once you get her in the head gate, she, she's pretty darn secure. This setup right here is kind of a composite of what our customers have told us the way they'd like to have it. And we've had people, obviously people buy them, and it's, you know, that's the way they spec them out. And so this is how it comes standard. Um, if you like the gates to swing a different direction or something like that, if that helps you out, uh, that's no problem. We can do it and it doesn't cost any extra um, because of all the gates that you can put in here are already in here. This is one of those things that we sell that's a tool uh, it's a tool to help the efficiency in your operation, and it also helps keep you and your family safe uh, and somewhat comfortable. And uh, it's one of those things that, that if, you know, if you're a serious cattle producer, 
uh, and you don't have a big barn or, or you know covered working area, which most people don't, this is an excellent low cost alternative to have. Go to the website, look at some of the designs we have or just pick up the phone and call us. I'm sure that number's on the screen right now and we'll help you design one. And uh, obviously it's, it's over a width load, so it takes permits and signs and that sort of thing to get it to you, but you don't have to worry about that. Uh, we'll get it to you, we'll give you a delivered price. And once we get there and we drag it off that trailer, there's nothing to assemble. It's ready to go. It's ready to use that very minute. Do yourself a favor, do us a favor, and give us a call. I appreciate it very much.